hello. Hello, hello, hello. I am Jennifer. If you all know that, but I feel like I have to introduce myself. Um, I am here today and I am going to make a short video for those of you who have been following me or taking my Sunday night restorative classes, you know that, um, or in my in-person classes, I have been recently quite obsessed with this guy here, the yoga wheel, uh, and it's delightful. However, I keep talking about it, and um, I don't feel like I've properly shown you what you can do with this thing. Because a lot of us probably look at it and you're like, mm, not sure. So I'm going to take a few moments this morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you're viewing this to show you what you could be doing with this yoga wheel. I'm trying to get here out of the way of the microphone. All right. But as any other time we come to our mat, I'm going to have you come down to your mat. Take a child's pose. With or without that wheel near you, I will show you how you will be able to take child's pose with the wheel. But before we do that, we have to align with our mat, connect with our mat, take a few moments, drop the hips to the heels, drop your forehead to your mat. Some of you might notice and I have that inverted option of my toes. It's like broken toe combined and collaborated with child's pose. What's the point? The point is to bring some stretch to that fascia of the underside of the feet. Let your forehead drop to the mat. Rock from left to right. As you let your forehead sway from left to right, start to take some inhales as you come through center of your forehead. And exhale, come to the right. Inhale, massage out that space in between the brow. And exhale, release left. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop onto the right temple. One more time, breathe in, vinyasa through center, and exhale to the left. Start to come back to center, and lift the hips away from the heels. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, bring the knees underneath the hips. We'll take a few cat-cows, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale up towards the sky. Let all that air go out through the back stagnant body. Inhale, bring in fresh, bright white light energy into the abdominal wall. Exhale, breathe out through the shoulder blades. Free up your angel wings. Inhale, one more time. Exhale through, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Why you down dog? Uh, because it's awesome. <laughs> because it helps us to understand the personality and characteristics of the physical body and release the ground, release the forehead to the ground to bring some much needed release from all of the clutter and chaos that goes into the mind. Pedaling out the feet, taking circles with the head. Push off the heels of the hands. Find a little more height in the hips. And come on down to your knees. Now, if you've purchased a wheel, grab your wheel. I'm going to show you, oopsie. I'm going to show you my favorite thing to do each morning. Now, currently, 
It is my current favorite thing to do. And that is a heart opener on the wheel. Let the hips rest onto the ground. You can take Supta Baddha Konasa with the legs. And then gently come to roll over the wheel. Let the arms fall out. Let the natural shape of the wheel support the upper back, the thoracic and cervical spine. Let your cervical spine in particular take on the rounding of the wheel as you let the heart open up. Let the palms of the hands face up. And drop the backs of the hands to the mat. Breathe. Notice especially the sensation that the wheel releases in the low back. So you might notice that this is a little bit the same thing as when we have an uh, exercise ball, and that is true, except for the extra stretch that you feel all along the low back starting on the mid spine and then releasing all of that spinae extensor muscles that surround the spine. Big breath into the heart. And a big breath out through the mouth. Now, place the hands to either side of you, or don't, but then you might take a little fill, and that's okay too, I've done it plenty of times. And then place the feet um, underneath the knees. And then begin to roll back onto that wheel. So that now that wheel is directly underneath the hips and let your heels be your base of balance. Let the arms come out long, release and relax the hips. Getting that big opening through the hips, the psoas muscle is what you're feeling stretching out the most, the hip flexors, so easily compressed and contracted by sitting. Now, if you'd like to add on, you can either grab for the wheel as your base, come a little bit further, balance onto the head, and find a legs up the wall variation. Letting the feet reach up towards the ceiling. Getting a little contraction in the throat, and sometimes that is really good for our throat chakra, especially if it is overactive, full of chatter. Start to lower the legs. At this point, you and on your own practice, you may keep your legs as elevated as long as you'd like, and come forward off of the wheel. All right, taking the wheel in front of the inner thighs. So we're gonna come into a massage of the belly. So, so, so healthy for those of us who experience things that are digestional, whether it's overactive, underactive, not active. So good for that microbiome, that gut. Our gut is the barometer of the rest of our health. So take the wheel, place it right at the base of the abdominal wall, and you're going to walk your hands forward and simply massage out that entire abdominal wall, rolling onto the belly, and then pause there, get some compression onto the belly, and then roll back. Roll forward and roll back. Roll forward, roll back. You can take this as many times as you wish. You can start to probably feel a little bit of activation in the low belly. That is the purpose. Our bodies are meant 
to function in a way that is available without any assistance whatsoever. We just have to figure out the ways, which uh, sounds a lot easier. Now, option, options, options, depending on whether you want to get fancy or not. You may fall off your wheel. That's okay. Bring it up towards the chest. This time, as you come forward, roll forward. Find almost chaturanga arms. As soon as you get to that belly, you have that plank with the wheel. So plank's never going to feel so nice and easy. Roll back. Roll forward, roll back. Some of you who practice chin stand or want to give it a try may come all the way forward and scorpion the legs, releasing onto that wheel and then coming off of it. Coming forward and scorpion out. And come down. Super fun stuff to work on. Let that wheel come off to the side. Those are just a few fun things that you can do with your yoga wheel. Of course, every practice should end in a beautiful shavasana, letting the body splay out. Let your whole body and being and spirit start to culminate all of that good medicinal energy. The wheel, to me, is a medicinal tool used in a way to allow our bodies to become their most efficient functioning selves. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I will be more than happy to place some more videos with my friend the wheel as I figure out more fun things to do. Namaste.